everyone and welcome to Crypto Cartel and in this video we're going to be going through how to withdraw your HVT from Hyperverse. Now the first thing to know is that there are a few steps in order to take before we begin the withdrawal process. The first is to download MetaMask and create a wallet. The second is to then add the Binance Smart Chain, so the BSC network, to your MetaMask. Now, both of these steps are covered in a previous video entitled MetaMask, which you can find in the description below. So if you have not completed this previously, please pause this video and go ahead and do that now. Once you've done, I'm now going to show you how to import the HVT token via CoinGecko to your MetaMask. So please open up a new tab and go to www.coingecko.com. You're then going to be greeted with its main homepage. And on the top right hand corner, you're going to be able to search tokens. So you'll simply type in HVT and the Hyperverse token will pop up in order for you to click. Now, once you click that on the right hand side, you're going to see info about the token. And what you'll want to do is to add this contract address to your H or to your MetaMask. In order to do that, you can simply click the little Fox logo, which is the MetaMask logo on the right hand side. Your MetaMask will then pop up and it will ask you to add suggested tokens. And you can see HVT is the token it's trying to add. And you can click the blue button that says add token. Now, once you've done that, you'll then see HVT has appeared as an asset on your MetaMask. Now, once that is complete, we need to activate your HVT contract. So in order to do so, the first thing you're going to want to do is to actually copy your MetaMask address and then head over to Hyperverse. So you're going to go ahead and log yourself in and you're then going to go to Manage. Now Manage is where we can see all of your rewards and what we'll need to do is to ensure that you have at least 30 HVT in your um, financial in order to activate the contract. Now, if you already have HVT, you'll be able to skip the next few steps. But if you're looking to change your rewards um, and your HU into HVT, please follow the next couple steps. So in order to do this, you're going to go to intertransfer and you're going to move your HU from your rewards account into your financial account. Here you can simply click all if you're going to move all of your rewards or you can just enter the amount you want to change. You'll then enter your six digit transaction password at which point your transfer will be complete. Then you need to go on to financial and what we are doing here is now exchanging your HU which is currently into your financial for HVT. So once you click exchange, you'll then want to click the HVT button. Now, as I said, if you already have HVT in your financial, you won't need to follow these steps. But once you've clicked HVT, again, you can click all if you're wanting to transfer or exchange everything from your financial account or simply type in. It's then gonna show you the estimated amount of HVT that you will receive. And again, you'll enter your six digit transaction password and your conversion and exchange will be complete. Now, once that has happened, we are now at the withdrawal stage. So this is where we're going to activate our HVT contract. So we're going to click withdraw and then we're going to click the drop down menu to choose HVT as our method of withdrawal. Now, if this is our first time doing it, we're then going to be greeted with this screen. So please activate your HVT smart contract now to enjoy withdrawal benefits and you're going to click confirm. Now it is important to note that the activation fee requires 30 HVT. So there must be at least this amount in your financial. So once you've clicked confirm, the HVT smart contract information is going to come up. You're then going to paste your MetaMask wallet address here and you can then see activation fees is 30 HVT and it shows you the available amounts in your financial. You'll then go ahead and click confirm. You'll enter your six digit transaction password and you'll then be greeted with a successful 
estimated activation within 24 hours, meaning it's going to take up to 24 hours in order for your HVT smart contract to activate. After which time, I'm then gonna show you the steps for the withdrawing the remaining of your HVT. Now, how do we connect our HVT smart contract? Well, we're going to go to www.hvteco.io. Once we've done that at the top, you're gonna see in the top right-hand corner, connect wallet. Once you click that, it's then going to bring up MetaMask. You're going to click MetaMask and it's then gonna ask you, are you wanting to connect with MetaMask? It shows you your account and your wallet address. You'll then click next. It will then confirm one more time and you will then click again, connect. Now, in order to check the successfulness of this, you can then go back to your HVT contract page, refresh the page, and you'll now see that your MetaMask address is connected in the top right hand corner. It no longer says connect wallet. So once your contract is connected, the 24 hours of the activation period has passed. You are now on to step two of actually withdrawing the remainder of your HVT tokens. So you're gonna go back to financial and go back to withdraw. You'll then select HVT again, and this time you're going to see your contract address, which is your MetaMask address, already there and already inputted for you. What you then need to do is to select the amount of HVT that you would like to withdraw. So again, simply click all if you'd like to withdraw all of it or put in a quantity of your choice. It will also show you the transaction fee and how much HVT that you are expected to receive. Once you have done that, you'll go ahead and click withdraw. Now, in order to complete the withdrawal, first you'll be end, um, you'll have to enter a six digit code that was sent to your email. Once you've entered that correctly, you will then be prompted to enter your six digit transaction password. You will then see a successful withdrawal submitted and you can monitor your withdrawal in records. Now, something to note, it can take up to 12 hours for HVT to arrive. And just a tip, withdraw before 4 p.m. GMT if you're here in the UK. Now, once your HVT has arrived in your HVT smart contract, you first need to acquire BNB in order to claim your HVT. Now, the reason being is that there are gas fees associated with receiving your HVT. So you would like to get a small amount of BNB in your MetaMask wallet. In order to do that, you're gonna to go to Binance. Now, again, if you do not have a Binance account, we do have a previous video showing you how to set up and verify Binance. So again, see the description below for a link to that video. Now, once your Binance is set up, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click deposit. Once you click that, you're then going to click cash. So what we're going to do is we're going to deposit GBP or whichever local currency you are using because this has the least amount of fees. When you when you deposit through a bank transfer, there are no fees associated. So you'll click cash, you'll click GBP. It'll then um, obviously our currency is GBP and you'll then click bank transfer. You can choose card if you choose, but it has a 1.8% transaction fee. Now, once you click continue, it's then going to, if this is your first time, tell you to upgrade your fiat service. Now, this is very simple because it's going to share um, its bank details and you simply transfer to those. So what you'll do is, is you'll put the amount that you're wanting to transfer. So for an example, I've put 25 GBP and then click continue. It's then going to tell you the notes um, that you need to, to take into account before sending your bank transfer. So first of all, your bank account name must match the name registered to your Binance account. 
So whatever your first and last name is that you verified on Binance needs to be the same name on your bank account. You need to please include your full name in the reference section of your bank transfer. And if the deposited amount exceeds your daily limit, you'll divide, they'll divide the total payment based on your maximum daily limit. Okay, so once you've read those notes and you understand, once you've clicked OK, you'll then see their bank details. So what you can simply do is go over to your banking. It shows you their receiver name, Skrill LTD. It has their account number, it has their sort code. And then like it said, you just need to make sure that you include your full name in the reference section. So once you've gone ahead and done that, and your transfer has been completed, you will then see GBP in your wallet. So in the bottom right hand corner of the app, you can click wallet and you can now see that I have 25 GBP in my wallet. Now, what do I want to do with this? Well, first of all, I now want to trade it. Now, in order to trade and eventually get BNB, I need to first trade my GBP for BUSD. BUSD is Binance's stable coin. So when I click on GBP, I can then see GBP USD as my first option to trade. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click GBP slash BUSD. When I click that, I'm going to be greeted with this screen. So on the right hand side, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click sell. Then I'm going to click the drop down menu and I'm going to select market straight underneath sell. Now what market means is simply market execution, meaning it's going to sell my GBP for BUSD straight away. Then I'm going to click 100%. So I'm going to convert 100% of my GBP into BUSD and then I'm going to click sell. And that then is going to execute immediately. Now, if I go to trade at the top left hand corner, I now want to click convert. When I click convert, this is automatically going to pop up. So now because I have BUSD, I can input the amount of BUSD that I want to exchange. And then where it says two, I will then select BNB. Okay. I will then select BNB. Once I've done that, I can then select preview conversion. Once I've confirmed it, I will then see my conversion has been access successful. Now that I have BNB, I need to send it over to my MetaMask. So in order to do this, I'm going to click wallets again down in the right hand corner. So wallets is of course where all of our assets are kept. So I'm going to click wallets. And then I'm going to click on my BNB. Now, once I've clicked on my BNB, I'm going to click withdraw and it's going to give me two options. Now I want to send via a crypto network. So I will then be asked to put in my address. Now here is where you will paste your MetaMask wallet address. Okay. It's the same wallet address that we pasted into our hyperverse earlier when we were withdrawing our HVT. So I'm going to paste that in there. I'm then going to select the drop down menu for network. Now this part is important. You need to ensure you pick BNB smart chain BEP 20. So BNB smart chain BEP 20 and you can see it highlighted there in yellow. Then you're going to pick your amount. So you can simply click max to send all of your BNB over to MetaMask. Okay. So once you've filled all that in, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click withdraw. It's then going to show you or get you to confirm your transfer and it'll show you the network fees associated with that. Once you click confirm, it will show you withdrawal request submitted. Now, once your withdrawal has successfully completed, you will also get an email telling you that your withdrawal has been successful. Now, what we can now do now that we have BNB and our MetaMask is to claim our HVT. Okay, so we'll go back to the HVT contract address website. And you will then see claim 
assets. So now that you've sent your assets, you'll be able to claim your assets. So once you click claim assets, you'll then see your pending assets. So the amount of HVT you withdrew is going to appear in pending assets. But what you'll notice is it'll then say available assets, which you can then claim. Now, you will see, as I said before, the amount of HVT you send from your Hyperverse will be sitting in pending assets. And underneath, that's what you're available to claim. And it'll be less than about 1%, which is released every single day. So what a good suggestion would be is to wait for you have before, sorry, you, <laughs> wait until you have more available assets because when you claim, there'll be a small gas fee associated with getting it into your MetaMask. So you don't want to claim too many times. So for example, you may want to claim once a week, once every two weeks, you know, give yourself a schedule to then claim your assets. So once you click claim now, this is what's gonna look like. And on the right, sorry, as soon as you click claim your MetaMask is going to pop up. So you can see in the top right hand corner, your MetaMask actually get, gives you little notifications. So you can see the blue little one. Okay, so if you click that, if your MetaMask doesn't automatically pop up, this is what you're then going to see. And this is explaining the estimated gas fees associated with claiming your HVT. And on the right hand side, you'll simply be able to scroll down and click confirm. Okay, so you're confirming that you understand there is an estimated gas fee associated with claiming your HVT. Once you've done that, you will then see your HVT appear under assets. Now, the very last step, once you have your HVT, it is a good idea to exchange it for BUSD. This is Binance's stable coin. So very similar to how you would exchange MOF for USDT, it is a good idea to exchange your HVT for BUSD into a stable coin. So how do we do this? Well, we go back to coingecko.com. So remember the same website we used to add our HVT to MetaMask. And again, we'll just search BUSD and you'll see it pop up, Binance USD. Once we've done that, there's a slightly different step here because BUSD is available on multiple networks. So the network address it's automatically going to give you is for Ethereum, but we want the one on the BSC network because that is the network that HVT is on in our MetaMask. So on the right hand side, you can see three circles, three little dots. And once you click that, it's gonna bring up this drop down menu and you're gonna copy the BNB smart chain address. Once you've copied that, you're gonna go back to your MetaMask and you're gonna click import tokens. You're then gonna paste the address that you just copied from CoinGecko and automatically it's gonna pop up and say token symbol BUSD, token decimal 18. You're then gonna click add custom token and once you've done that, your BUSD will then be in your assets available to swap. So once it's in your assets, you're going to click the swap button. And it's then going to ask you what do you want to swap from. So from the drop down menu, you'll select your HVT and what you want to swap to and then select your BUSD. You will then select review swap, confirm your swap, and it'll then tell you your transaction has been complete. Now everyone, that is step-by-step -step how to claim and withdraw your HVT tokens over to MetaMask, exchange it to BUSD. Now what you can do from here, once you have accumulated the amount of BUSD that you desire, you can then send this to your Binance and then eventually to your bank account. But please seek our MetaMask video, which shows you 
how to send.